for the next part we need to build the user interface for our clicker app uh, to do that let me start off by closing this firebase menu that we no longer need and now we're going to navigate over to the XML file that holds the user interface information here we are in the layout view and as you can see since I'm using Android Studio 2.2 that the default layout is this constraint layout which is a little bit more complicated than the relative layouts we've used in previous projects. In previous projects we converted this constraint layout to a relative layout here. I'm going to leave this one as a constraint layout and we'll do this one project in constraint layout. I'll show you how. First thing we're going to get rid of this uh, hello world which we're not going to need. So as a reminder for our clicker app we're going to have a button here that says agree another button here that says disagree underneath the agree button will publish the total number of people who have voted agree underneath the disagree button will likewise have uh, the number of people who disagree and then we'll also have a reset button which in theory should only be pressed by the teacher that will uh, zero these values both on our screen as well as in the firebase database so to get started, let's uh, grab a button and put it here somewhere. And then let's grab another button and put it over here. And that will be the agree button and the disagree button. And then I'm going to put a couple of text boxes underneath those buttons to show the values. So let me grab a couple of text views. I put one under here somewhere and another one under here somewhere and then one more button uh, that will serve as a reset button here like that and now I'm going to rename all of these and change the texts on them okay I have renamed all the buttons both in terms of what's uh, written on their face as well as their internal representations for the agree button for example I put the word agree on the face of the button and I've changed the internal representation to say agree underscore B. And I've done the same for the other components. Now if I was to take this user interface as it is right now and run the emulator you'll see that uh, it's not going to work because all these components are going to pile up in the top left corner. Let me just show you that. So here's the emulator running and you can see that all the components have piled up under here. You can't even see anything now except for this reset button. So what we need to do is we need to add some constraints which basically will position the components uh, on this screen. Now you can go through very carefully and use these little tabs and connect them to each other but a much easier thing to do especially if you have a relatively simple layout like this is to let Android Studio infer the constraints and you can do that simply by pressing on this little uh, plus key right here and you can see that all these uh, constraints have now shown up and so now if I was to restart the emulator here you can see that everything is where it needs to be we've got the buttons in the right places and the text views underneath the buttons so we're gonna just do this app starting off with this simple layout right here one more thing I forgot to add we need to display a question at the top of this uh, interface and I forgot to put that in so let me put that in now so I'm gonna add one more text view and put it right here at the top and uh, put some text in there and what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna have it span the entire length of the screen so I'm just gonna increase the width there and I'm also going to change the centering so that the question is centered on the page so to do that I'm going to uh, look at the expanded menu and I'm going to scroll down here to where it says text alignment and I'm going to go with uh, center and you can see that that's properly centered and while I'm at it maybe I'll make the text a little bit larger here as well so to change the text size I've scrolled over to the text size property and let's try this 24 and see how that looks a little bit bigger I think I'm gonna like that and uh, let's just go with that